Greetings, traveler. We can do gems on the Hydra here. New game means new things to blow up. <laughs> so first duo on the brand, second and golden on your Muro for triple fiesta. Well, I mean, if you get that build again, which I guess it's the neutral thing, right? So we just want that, yeah. So if we get that build again, we need fireworks. We need to keep the duo. I think you just want to... Um, you just want to put stats. You just want to copy the fireworks, I think, so you get more fireworks. Are undead in? No. Hmm. Wait, did he hero power? The dragon? Oh, I didn't even see. Yeah, sorry, I guess. I'm, I'm just thinking about the... That's funny. Your board actually should probably be only fireworks and the upbeat guy. Yeah, it's good to play so you just copy, you copy the fireworks with half and you copy the upbeat with the other. And then you have three golden fireworks, three golden upbeats and a flex slot. XD is on the Reno. Alright, I do like this dragon, but I want to try a 3 on 3. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I love this. This means that I always have a taunt, right? So that I care. I can play Quillbor again and get wrecked by Leapers. I want this one for sure. I'm thinking it's just Thorn. I think a shield just shield us, right? I can gem this because it gives it more shield value. But this is not going to be shield for very long. And usually they bump anyway on the shield. Now back to the good part. I think I like to keep this. Oh. <laughs> Boom is with us this game. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, oh, chat. Wind Fury Macaw proking this thing. Yes, yes, yes. Feels good, man. Do I gem here or not? So you Dora on tier three. I don't gem right now. But I don't show. Hey, my finish. Wait, bro. Oh, I needed to move this up. Ah, oh, I got distracted. It's okay. It is but a minor setback in an amazing setup. I'm just gonna gem the parrot, I think, to keep it alive. We just want that proc. Muffin's an absolute unit. She's very big now, yeah. It's one of the biggest races there is for cats. There is one that makes extra HP on the gems, but it is a battle cry, not a death rattle. So we can probably keep Macaw the whole game 
and switch into Selfless or Nadina. Keep it real. Aww. What is this bullshit? Bumper into fucking 29 HP taunt. Blocking my Wind Fury. Actually annoying. Uh, and then the set is not good. Actually, it's okay if this goes here. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. That's pretty fucking bullshit. Alright, whatever. Accept, move on. Take Not only taking damage here, but not getting my proc is so unlikely, like, on average. Especially because we stayed for that, right? I want to be strong. Might just run selfless instead of this thing. And try to already gather a golden selfless, because this is not going to be... You know, this, if this doesn't get proc'd, it's not the end of the world. Practice makes perfect. So three taunts dying now. Not a bad board either. Classic. Yeah. All right. I'm getting annoyed that's how bad I'm playing, but I shouldn't, I guess. Just, uh, probably just a short game, this one. Oh well. I definitely made some big mistakes here already. It's good. The BM did a lot of work last time. Gems on the BM is really nice. Five attack here, but it's a gem. It's basically not good enough, right? Duo's good. I don't think we can go upbeat. We're gonna end on BM and Duo and sell this after buying this. Watch out. I want this here. Work the problem. If that fails, Double Leroy and Queen. Whoa. That's early. <sighs> At least he didn't kill the shield, and that's pretty fucking bullshit. <laughs> oh well. Two two kills this right. Ah, but it had no, it had no poison. Yeah. Alright, we're fine. I mean, we're not fine. Fucking snap my parrot with a Leroy. But <laughs> is what it is. Mist Trickster. Mm, I don't have damage. I don't have HP on my uh, blood gems, so I don't think the Trickster is actually good here. Wow, oh, this is really good. Yeah, getting the golden BM with the buffs. Potentially building the Trickster with the gem transfer later. You don't need the Trickster early, right? We can transfer to it later. So the Terex keep combat buffs. So you can get a lot of Divine Shields this way. But I don't think that's good enough for it. The Bird package could even go at some point. That's good. Yeah, we just need to farm these things. With Bran, that'd be nice. Man. Oh, so good. Alright. I think the selfless is going now, we're just gonna pump. I think I might just freeze that gem transfer here. One more on the shield maybe, that's okay. So this plays two gems. 
Even Bannerboard could have a place. It's good. It's just, how do I fit it on this board? It's getting us so many procs now, it's so nice. Plus eight, plus four per gem. I'm just playing this until I run into a fucking Leaper comp again, right? <laughs> Last time I had this and I ran into Leapers and I just, oh, this build does nothing against Leapers. Oh, that's so good. I think we want to put all the gems on one thing and then transfer it to a Trickster later and run Macaw Trickster and sell this. Yeah. You could end on a banner bore, but is that wise? I don't think so. I'm gonna stay here and roll, find Reborn, find that. Oh, that's so good. Taunt here is kind of weird. I think the Bronze Warden stays though. Cycle, cycle. You could taunt and end on it, I guess. It's probably still worth. I'm gonna keep the transfer. It should be really strong here. Oh, whoops, order. Order lul. So I definitely want one more attack here, one attack here. This is the first interaction that jumped out to me that I thought would be pretty broken when you could just buff your gems like that. Um, but of course it's tough in a new meta to really understand how good it is. 10 damage per blood gem now. The Battle Master is weird in this comp, but it's the thing that allowed me to stabilize twice. 19, 11. 11 and 5 each now, yeah. Because Battlemaster is perfect if you if your guys give a lot of damage. So now we could just play uh, Cleave. I could just roll for Hydra now and switch to Hydra. I got a Ghost, so we could also level an up. Could try to make Gold and BM. I think it's level and BM. I'm gonna play some gems though, I don't wanna hold everything and lose. The parrot getting uh, one more for sure. Everything goes according to my plan. Uh, this was a fun setup, the Macaw Piper. <laughs> so good. They were pretty weak, okay. I guess they did have that kind. Oh, that's so good. 14 and 5. And we lose some taunts here as well. Perfect, perfect. So what can I sell out of easily? I guess the death rattle boar could technically go. Reborn skits. This is great. Ton of Tracker. Trigger a friendly minion's battle cry. That's good on the battle master, right? Alright, let's just play cards. That's just nuts. Waste too much time. I'm gonna skip on the Muro. Should probably have Selfless on the board now. If I'm being real, so we should do that. Oh, okay, never mind, that's pretty insane. I meant to do that. Sell, sell, sell. Can gem transfer off this, right? 
your minions faster than I go through my henchmen. And I love it! There's a trickster as well, but it's pretty complicated to do here. This is so insane now. I think we switch into selfless at the right time. This BM actually only has 41 damage, so I want a bit more damage on it. The board is pretty insane right now. Charlie is now insane, yeah. Our gems are at the 14 and 5. That's probably going to be the thing you need to decide when you play this kind of comp is when do you cut the quill bore, the death rattle quill bore. I think, especially on Alakir with Macaw in, we did sort of predict that we were gonna go for a start on that quill bore and then switch into selfless because you'd probably have a reborn Macaw, which is really nice. Drakari is an additional Charga, which is obviously insanely good. But is there really anything you want to cut here? Instinctively, no. I think we just chuck two gems on the BM to give it damage. Move it further back and uh, call it, right? Yeah, get Golden Selfless, get Golden Macaw. Could level, but I think I just want the Golden Selfless and the Golden Macaw. I guess I buy the pair. That's also not bad against beasts. Can sell duo, but duo is still getting a decent amount of value here. If you perform well, we might do another puzzle lab. Boogie Monster Tech. That's the first one I see. Macaw dying is nice, we get the value. Oh, they have Nadina, but no dragons. They just played it to proc boogie monster. That makes sense. Who one shot the boogie monster? Right? Now, this BM is such a monster. He needs the Leroy, so let's hope that's not gonna happen. Uh, even with Leroy, it's never enough for it. No, GG. Okay, wow. Man, I was ready to give up when I messed up, but... Because I, I think when I stayed on 3, on 8 gold, it was wrong. I should have just bought and leveled. I really, I really paid for that, but... We recovered. <sighs> Alright, nice. Mm -hmm.